I didn't leave my house if it was dark. I left work early to come home and feed my outside animals. Tonight, stunning video from right through that sliding glass door. One homeowner having to handle this repeat visitor of a mountain lion in her backyard. Good evening, I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. Uh, now, this homeowner in Santa Rosa has seen mountain lions come around before and has tried everything to keep them away, but this time it got way too close. Yeah, it did. ABC 7 News reporter Tim John spoke with the woman earlier. Happy her dog Sherman is alive and recovering tonight. Shocking video showing the moments after a mountain lion dragged an elderly dog out of a North Bay home. On the night of November 28th, Rebecca Crocker says she was relaxing at her house when suddenly she heard her dog Sherman cry out. He looked like he was convulsing, um, so I went running forward thinking, oh, maybe he's having a seizure. Um, and then I realized that his body was moving like across the floor. Crocker says the mountain lion had come into the kitchen through an open sliding door. Panicked, she called her neighbor, who was able to scare the mountain lion away with a warning gunshot. But, Crocker says, Sherman was lying lifeless on her patio. She feared the worst. Suddenly my dog popped up and we all went, you saw that too, right? Like he's alive? Luckily, Sherman had minimal injuries. Crocker thinks the mountain lion was missing several teeth. She called the Department of Fish and Wildlife, who she says advised her to stay in the house until their staff arrived the next day. A few hours later, she decided to take the dogs out to use the bathroom before bed, not knowing that the mountain lion was still nearby. She stood up and hissed and growled, I guess. Um, and we herded all the dogs back inside and sat and watched her watch us for another 30 minutes. It would take Fish and Wildlife officials five more days to catch and put down the mountain lion, which they say was old and senile. But not before, Crocker said, it came back and killed two of her goats inside her barn. It's been assumed that they either had heart attacks or she crushed their windpipes. Crocker says while she's relieved the animal is no longer a threat, the experience has had an impact on her. For the consequential week that followed, I didn't leave my house if it was dark. I left work early to come home and feed my outside animals um, so that I wasn't exposed on my way back from the barn to the house. In Santa Rosa, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News.